whole journey was about just enjoying the nature. I just wanted to see how beautiful our Himalayas are and how it feels to go hike in the mountains. I have never done that before. And for me, it was just a very deep desire that I would like to also reach to the lap of a mountain. Namaste, my name is Babita Shrestha and I'm really excited about my first trip. I woke up, I had already packed up everything the night before. I called my taxi brother, he came to pick me up and then we headed out from Pokhara to Tampus. My cab ride was amazing. The roads were completely empty so the ride was very smooth until Tampus. There were few places that were a little bit bumpy. right now and then we're gonna stay our night at the rally <laughs> I'm ready the first starting point is a little bit difficult just thinking about now you have to work seven days a week It was a very beautiful countryside hike. For the first time, I wasn't really walking on the roads, but I was walking in the village alleys. So peaceful. Wow. I can see the crystal right in front of my face right there. It looks absolutely magical. It's the first day, so uh, I'm having a very rough time, but I'm getting used to it. <sighs> it's definitely worth it. What a beautiful place to rest. Wow. There's some buffaloes over there. As I was walking from Dampus to Pothana, I ended up in this beautiful landscape where I saw a lot of buffaloes just grazing. I haven't seen buffaloes and donkeys for over a decade. Look at this, guys. Don't you think they're so lucky? So quietly grazing. I never had this opportunity to see the buffaloes with the mountain in the background. Finally, I took a break, took a lot of pictures. We stayed there and enjoyed for a little bit. And then headed towards Pitam Diwali. Welcome to Pothana. 
here at 1890 meter. I'm so tired, oh my god. Most mountain people, they are really, really kind and they have a lot of time to listen to someone. I really admire their strength and willpower and they choose to live in peace and quietly. I hope uh, someday I will be able to go to the mountains and live there for the rest of my life. There's rice flakes, peanuts, bujia. Let me try it. It's really good. Since I was also doing photography and videos, snack break was very important part where I can take a rest, have my snacks, and then get some energy and start shooting again. I also took snack break in the most stunning areas of Nepal. In my trail mix, I had almonds, dates, and coconut. Walking in the jungle is healing. It's a therapy. Once you start going deep in the jungle, you start forgetting everything behind and just focus on what I want to do at this moment. I felt amazing. everywhere. Check out all these rhododendron trees. It's a little bit late for this elevation, but uh, I'm hoping that I'll see a lot of rhododendron flower up, probably near uh, Lokan. I think it will be a perfect time there. They bloom until April, maybe May, early May.
。上火车，火车。We're here at the rally now. Hotel, nice view. It's a little bit chilly here, so I got some black tea. I'm really tired today. My backpack was a little bit heavy. My back is killing me. My favorite part of the day was hiking in the middle of the jungle, walking towards the Annapurna. I didn't had any expectations, but uh, now I'm learning that uh, <laughs> trekking is not that uh, easy. The sunset was so beautiful that I had to go take some pictures. I also saw that they had a beautiful garden where they had a lot of local greens, garlic. So I thought, why not go and take some more pictures? There was a spot very close by the hotel where we walked and enjoyed the most beautiful sunset in between the mountains. This might be my first time I am ever taking a sunset photograph in between the mountains. In that moment, I was completely lost. I always loved landscape photography, but I never really had an opportunity to shoot something like that. The sunset was so beautiful that I waited until it went dark. I took so many photographs, all breathtaking. You just sit there, enjoy the moment, and capture that moment. That is one of the uh, most beautiful gifts about this trek. Finally, dinner has arrived. I got my favorite Nepali soup. So I'm about to have this delicious dalwa. First hot meal of the day and I haven't had some of those vegetables that you find in the mountain. Most of the vegetables were also grown locally here. This mustard green is so good. And I like this new logo outside too. I forgot about papa. Mmm. The food was so good here. This is exactly what I needed after a long hike. Well, let's go back. I'm a chef, photographer, graphic designer, and a filmmaker. When I was growing up in Tarai, I felt like I was in the Garden of Heaven. I left the US in 2009. It took me a really long time to manifest my comeback to Nepal. When I first came back, I came to Kathmandu 
it was so crowded and dusty i stayed there a month and decided to go to pokhara by the mountains and i always wanted to travel different mountains of nepal but i never really got a chance i have been looking much up to be living in pokhara for almost a year during 2020 so i decided i need to go to marbi himal trek and just experience what it is like to go on a trek for a week and just walk and enjoy the nature well look at this view from the room mountain on the side I woke up really tired. It was a whole day of walking for the first time. I was very excited cuz I am done with day 1. Now everything is going to be easy and fine. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. Ready. Good morning. It's day 2 and I just woke up having my tea. There is a beautiful ambiance in the back. Now we're planning to head to forest camp. This trip is going to be an adventure. I'm so excited for this day. Day two. While I was having my hot tea in this misty, cool, chilly morning. I can see the steam coming off my tea but at the same time I can also see the mist coming out of the mountain sunrise was about to happen it was absolutely gorgeous so excited to be like so close to the mountain We just left Pitam Dorali and we are on our way to forest camp. Now I have two different routes. One looks very hard that goes all the way up and one looks a little bit easier. Should I take easy one or should I take a hard one? Well, I have decided I'll see you on top. As I walked a little bit in the jungle, I found this homestead where they were also making local wine. Ki bani re se kuto. Kutro. Kutro. Is to a wine sign. Yes. Kutro bani re. Yo, ma pilek ma bani re. Ora. Ma kitin kuto re hote. Bahut khush. Was good to see small local house people are doing their own thing with local products they were making wines out of local berries chutro is a small berry that are found around the mountains the most important part for me they are also very mindful about their lifestyle where food plays a very important role they live in such heights they cannot get all the foods from the cities so since they grow everything in their own land they do not create a lot of plastic waste in cities everything is packed in plastic even our vegetables and fruits i wish some day i will be able to go and live in one of these homestead in my lifetime How beautiful it is to live in the middle of the jungle with these old ancient trees and mosses and there are wild horses there is no noise pollution there is no garbage there is no honks there is no light pollution As I walked a little bit further, I was just warming up for my whole day trek. I really noticed the air quality. 
as you start going inside the jungle that's when you really realize how clean the air is As I kept walking, I saw some stairs. So I walked on the top. There were a lot of prayer flags. And then I saw this temple with a beautiful opening of the mountain. Wow! Check out the mountain over there. Oh my god. So beautiful. This must be a really auspicious place, a place of high energy. It was so quiet, there was no noise at all, only the singing of the birds. The setting of this temple was so beautiful. It was on top and on the edge of the mountain. There was this hollow space where you ring. It just echoes. The whole scenario gave me a ecstatic feeling. Looks like the thunder is coming from here. I'm so glad that I took a rest by the temple. The view is stunning. I don't want to go anywhere. First, we might need it because there is a thunderstorm coming in. My gut feeling said that we should take a rest here. Check out this weather. It's already really cold up here. As soon as I left the rally, the temperature went down. Wow, it's like I'm on the top already. It's really cold here right now. Thank God I got some gloves and my hat, warm jacket, and then cover for your bag and also poncho. I'm gonna wear poncho on top of this. It started raining slowly. Good thing that we had ponchos on. None of our bags were wet. It was windy, misty, and just a little bit of rain. I thought that I should just keep walking so I will not get caught up in a hail. Thank goodness. We were in the jungle, so there were so many tree canopies where I was taking some rest. 
I'm so tired. I need a break. And I thought I'm gonna have some peanut butter. I have no energy left. I'm so glad I got a whole bag of snacks. <laughs> Walking in the rain is so much fun. I love it. After you leave the rally, the hike is straight up. There are some up and down, but so far it has been all up, up, up. To be up here in the rain with the mist is really fun. The wind kept building and building and also the rain slowly kept getting worse. It was quite challenging wearing the poncho, carrying the bag and walking in the rain and it was muddy. Well, even though it is raining, the weather and the view here is stunning. I love the clouds going from one direction to another direction. Let's walk towards the woods now. I kept walking through the mist and the rain. Finally, I found a t-shirt. The tea was fantastic for the rainy day. That is exactly what I needed to head back to the trail. Wow! It's getting chilly. Like just peeking from in between this forest finally the rain stopped so there is a little bit of sun and it has hit right directly to the mountain so I can touch it how does it feel when I reach on top over there Over there that is by the cloud. Oh my god, this is gonna be a once in a lifetime journey. I started seeing more flowers, it was absolutely gorgeous and enchanting. When I was growing up in Kaloya, I never really knew about trekking or tourism. I started living in Kathmandu at the age of 12. That's how I discovered a lot of people come from around the world to go on a trek. But at that time, I was really young and I really had no idea why people even go on a trek. What is this? In Nepal, I don't think we really have a culture of hiking, but we have a culture of walking. When I was growing up, we didn't really have cars. We didn't really have motorcycles. There were only few motorcycles as far as I remember. Our basic transportation was either walking. I remember we used to walk hours and hours and it was just part of our culture. We walk from one village to another village, to your uncle or your grandfather, grandmother. Fast forward, 
20 some years later now walking is a hobby now i'm going to forest camp and tomorrow i'll make it to low camp i'll make it to high camp up there I'm so excited. My dream come true. I don't know how long I was thinking about this. And now it's coming to reality. I was very curious about forest camp. The name itself is so interesting, forest camp. When I saw the opening of forest camp, I was really blown away. It was more like a mirage to me because it came out of nowhere. There was a jungle all this way for hours and hours and all of a sudden there is this beautiful opening with few tree houses inside the forest. Whoever decided to choose this name for a scam chose the perfect name. You can't really see anything. It is surrounded completely by forest. Dinner is very important because I've been walking all day and obviously I wanted a really good Nepali set. I'm so hungry right now. Let's see what we have uh, in the food. Rice, dal, this gulbarago achar, and neuro which is all locally grown and mustard greens and fried potatoes, my favorite. Let's give you a try. And it's so delicious, oh my god. Mmm! Neuro, sauna and aloo is so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna go home and try this recipe out. I'm so glad that there is also Mulbeda culture, which is the best combo for a Nepali set. Mmm! Really delicious. And this fiddle is so good. The taste of the vegetables in the mountain are really more flavorful than the vegetables that I was already eating in Pokhara and Kathmandu. I'm so full. I'm about to go to bed now. I'm very, very tired today. I cannot explain how amazing it felt to sleep in the middle of the jungle. It was completely quiet. No sound at all. And then when you wake up, you wake up by songs of the bird. I'm going to Badal Dara today. I just woke up and I'm ready to have my breakfast. I have Tibetan bread, chana aloo again, black ginger and lemon tea. Spicy. Don't add this is a little spicy for breakfast. Hey, only for the cargo to do. Cargo to do. Difficult to do. You only you do boy. You only cut no more. Ah, so hot. <laughs> I decided to head out right away. I'm definitely hoping that the day will be clear all day today. 
I'm excited to reach the rest camp and see the whole mountain. Perfect time to hit the trail. Let's go. As I kept walking, the sun started coming out. After forest camp, it is very straight uphill, steep steps. This is definitely stairway to the heaven. It is really difficult to walk a lot in a short period of time. So I had to take a lot of break. I mean, in the beginning, I was taking break every 10 minutes because I was huffing and puffing. <sighs> in the middle of the jungle, Sunny day, I'm feeling really good. You can see the clouds, mountains, birds. Rest camp was very close to the forest camp. Once you reach rest camp, you will see the stunning view of Annapurna. like I am already in the heaven. Clouds are right there, Masakis is right there. Wow. And it is really a clear sunny day. Badal means cloud and Dara means hill in Nepali. When you reach to that point, you do not think about time. That was one of the best thing about my trek. I had completely forgotten what time is it and I was just enjoying the day. I'm able to see the beautiful canvas that the nature has made for us. Nature is itself a museum. I didn't want to come back at all. Check out this, this beauty. I think the altitude is changing. So you can see the weather is changing here. It's really cold. I'm wearing my warm jacket. The trees are covered with mosses. The trails are so beautiful that are made out of Roots and natural stone. Going on a trek to a mountain is not only about reaching the goal but the whole process. I'm a photographer and I love researching about local food and culture. 
so i took enough time to travel relax shoot and just enjoy the moment tired don't let the name fool you low camp is really high up I made it to low camp finally but uh, it is early in the day there is a place called Badal Dada so I'm planning to take a rest for tonight over there and maybe watch sunset I feel like I'm already up in the clouds One of the best feeling when you're on the mountain and when you see these animals they are guarded by these brothers and sisters who live on yeah. there but they have so much freedom that they can go wherever they want they can graze whatever they eat and then they come home they are very important to maintain a healthy soil and the biodiversity this animal was helping these families live a self sustainable life when you are in the city and when you just think about all these things it doesn't feel like reality but then when you see that in the mountain you realize that it is possible to live a fully completely sustainable lifestyle i think we're almost there but i'm enjoying this beautiful day up above in the clouds wow full of pink rhododendron Look at those mist We're on the cloud After low camp the elevation rises more so now you are completely in the jungle The weather was getting worse and worse and I can hear the thunderstorm. I have to keep walking and I cannot take a lot of breaks. The whole trek started getting very dramatic. I was a bit anxious and I was having anxiety and I was already so tired and frustrated. I could not think anything. It was getting so dark that I knew the hail was coming and in my head it was oh my god I have to reach this next destination as soon as possible Here we made it up here at Badal Dara Just check out the view here Seems like it's going to rain today As soon as I enter inside the Twin Peak, it started hailing. It poured down. Oh my god! 
was large chunks of ice flying everywhere. Just imagine if it would have been on top of my head. I have never seen that kind of hell ever before. Whoa. This is my dream come true right now. What an amazing day. <laughs> the view is stunning here. You can see the Michakuchi. Oh my god, look at that. Fish tail right there. Today's hike was a difficult one, but it was worth it. When I came here, it was full of clouds, so I didn't know where was the mountain. But then after 20 minutes, the weather was this beautiful. With the moon right up there. It's absolutely stunning. Breathtaking. <sighs> Gives me goosebumps. <laughs> Machapuche looks so beautiful. The rhododendron were blooming at the same time. I was in the heaven. I just kept shooting and shooting and shooting. It was really beautiful. love landscape photography and I've been doing it for so long but I never had opportunity to shoot the mountains. The sunset in the mountain is mind-blowing. There was so much beauty that I had no idea where to even look. After dinner, I went outside. It was complete darkness and the stars were so thick and bright. When you wake up, and when you see nothing but nature around you with the mountain, you are in this state of bliss. Good morning, this is day four and I woke up early today to look at the sunrise. The view is stunning here. Sunrise is from there. This is the slowest sunrise ever. So 
them just like how we used to draw when we were a child. Look at this beautiful Annapurna range. took a lot of pictures before the sun rise and after the sun rise. You cannot stop shooting. You need to take a lot of time to just go there, relax, find the right timing and shoot. Yeah, look at that. This is definitely a eye-opening and life-changing experience where you finally Quit everything and don't think about anything. Your mind is completely silent and you are just enjoying this blissful nature. Stunning in the front. Let's keep going. The view was so beautiful and I can see the mountain from every angle. I took a lot of time to just enjoy, shoot and then walk. Wow, I like this angle and that angle and this side and there is rhododendron and there is yak, there is horses. I just could not stop taking picture at all. Where's your building go? Trails. So I look at this beautifully cut stones. It was really heavy. Brothers were able to cut them, carry them, and put them properly and make this beautiful hand paved stairs. That is an art. What a joy to make these stairs right next to the mountain.
I ended up shooting so much that I walked few hours but ended up going nowhere. I'm here at Hotel Mullen Majesty and the view from here is majestic. Wow. Machu Picchu right there. You can see all nine mountains from here. The owner of the hotel told me that whoever comes today is the luckiest one. The weather is really clear, no clouds, no sign of rain. Just beautiful, gorgeous view. On one side, you can see the whole Annapurna range, but around there you can see layers and layers of green mountains where you can also see lights of Pokhara city. Today is a really good day. The weather hasn't been cleared out for weeks, so I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this mountain as long as it shows up. Ah. New day, new Nepali set. This is the best view I have ever had having a Nepali set. It wasn't just the view, it was also the environment and how the mountain was right in front of me and not far away. I have white rice and then ratu dal, musur dal, red lentil, and then cabbage and potato. Let's try that. And some sack. This is some kind of local fag here that is grown here. With some Golbara Gochar. Mmm, spicy. Gochar is spicy. Perfect for the weather, it's sunny here. Wow, delicious food and what a great day. I'm loving it. <laughs> For now, I'm just hanging here in the swing. Up in the heaven. Look at that beautiful sunset with the cloud over there. Oh my god. They also had a really cute dog. I had a lot of fun just watching Sunset with Lucky. I made a new best friend. Loving wow. on the clouds. Look at these hills. I have never seen this many hills in my life. Oh, 
Day four was definitely one of the most memorable days of my life. I didn't really hike a lot, but I really enjoyed it. I was having the best time of my life. When I woke up in the morning, I felt like the wind is going to blow me away. Weather is warm, I have my hot water and my camera. My camera is almost dead, so I'm saving 20% for the top. <laughs> is clear, it's dry and then you can also enjoy stunning flower that only blooms in spring. Laliguras is one of my favorite flower and the national flower of Nepal. On our way to high camp. Also packed hot water. Shake, shake, shake. So I can make my own little tea or coffee. It's alright. I cannot get that experience if I went to a cafe. As the altitude goes up, I've noticed that my breathing is really heavy. But I think I finally made it to like uh, on the way to high camp. It's almost there. The beautiful thing about it of this route is it is full of rhododendron. I can see all red rhododendron around the whole uh, route. Rhododendron, hills and Machu Picchu. We'll see you on the top. I 
finally reached to high camp, I was so close to my destination. The weather is clear, sunny. I can see all the details in the mountain. I think I'm so lucky. I have finally made it to upper view point. When you reach on the top of the mountain, it is really a spiritual feeling. I was really exhausted. My God, I could not even breathe. It is so windy that it starts getting really cold. It was about to snow. This is place of high energy. Finally understood why yogis choose to go to the mountain when they want to meditate. There are a lot of tea shops, not tea houses, but tea shops where you can rest and have a little tea. These tea shacks are basically made out of branches that are found in the forest and that are covered with plastic tarps. There was only one open. Tea was very simple. They have to carry water to bring all the way to the upper viewpoint, which is not really an easy job. There is wood fire, so they also collect wood from surroundings. He had a simple kettle, water, some tea leaves, sugar, and ginger. I have my uh, black ginger tea on top of uh, Mardi Himal. What a memory. Kati Mai. Tato Tato, eh? So, she's a very good idea. Oh, Tilaru, the thing is, huh? You're going to say your first trick, eh? 
After that long hike, all the way being cold, that tea is exactly what I needed to warm me from inside. Looks like it's gonna rain, but I'm taking my chance since I'm already up here. At the top, I was really surprised how gorgeous everything is to be on the heaven and you are a photographer and you're shooting. I have never felt anything like this before. Mountain everywhere. Machapu tree is here. To the top. This was my first trip to the mountain. Definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Since I was already on the top, I just cannot move from there. I needed to stay there to enjoy the moment. There was nobody. It was so peaceful. It was so meditative. I can't think of anywhere I'd rather be. All of a sudden, there is this huge sign of big wind that almost blew me away that I had to sit down to save myself. I had to quickly decide that I need to go down to the high camp to take a refuse. Really rushed and took a shortcut way which was a bit dangerous. As soon as I entered to a hotel of high camp, it started hailing again. As quickly as the storm came in, it also stopped. On the way back, I also saw Lucky and his friend. What a place to be a dog. Those dogs are the luckiest dogs I have seen in my life. So you photo kids me get che koi lesa bani sakcha ta Ta yu tyo hai na ta tala sa matrai goy mathi che uki ne phiri dharda khiri chip lela bhanera huncha ni dar lae malai khashi hona khashi aaye na ke bhayo Hey, 
Finally, made it to hotel safe and sound. I was relaxing, watching the sunset. Time goes really slow when you are up on the mountain. Watching the view from the top of the mountain in a photograph is completely different when you are actually there. You can feel the mist, you can see the cloud, you can feel the cloud and you can feel the energy of the mountain. When we go to a different place and see their culture and their regular activities, that will open up our mind. We are always busy thinking what we are doing next, always, continuously. But on top of the mountain, you shut down and you are really enjoying your life at that moment. Walking in the jungle, in the middle of the nature, is a really self-healing process. And for a lot of people, it is a form to understand yourself. See you guys next time in different mountain.
Sirkopani, Tiva Talaita, Matapus, Sirkopani, Tiva Talaita, Talakokina, Lakum, Timitunapurita, Madina, 